Hey guys, I am back, and uh, looks like they restacked a little bit, um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, welcome back to my uh, ch the channel, Todd Bob's world famous channel, uh, where we bring you products and entertainment. So today uh, is the entertainment end with these coin pusher videos. We have a whole bunch of them for you guys. If you haven't watched them or you're new to them, make sure you go back and check out all the old videos. Um, I've, probably, I've got over 20 of them so far, and uh, obviously watch this one. Um, you'll hear some names being called. Uh, look into our Facebook group to see more about that. Uh, but as you guys see, I'm going to kind of, usually when I start these videos, I like to kind of go over what is in the machine and what kind of potential and kind of what I'm aiming for. So usually I'm after that 10K, um, the big stack of money right here. That's $10,000. Um, now I do have, I did talk to the manager when I was walking in, uh, who informed me that tomorrow, uh, he, he told me the yesterday actually, but, um, I wasn't sure if it was today or tomorrow they were going to do it. So tomorrow they're going to put three, uh, three sets of those. So instead of being 10,000, it's going to be $30,000 in this machine. Now that's a lot. Um, I don't even know where they're going to have room to put those other two stacks, but I'm excited. Um, so Maybe I can pull this guy out today and I'll come back and get another 30 tomorrow. Um, or uh, I'll walk away with a bunch of silver so I have enough to play tomorrow. He did say I, I'm, I'm limited to $100 tomorrow. Um, when I come in, I got $100 to get that 10 k or the 30 k I I guess, tomorrow. Um, but uh, I guess more to today's play. Uh, we got that 10 k stack, which I'm, all, I'm always after. And they stacked a little differently. You guys can't really see, but there's actually... You see the three stacks here in the front. There's three stacks. It looks like they're about the same height right behind there. So that 10K is what you thought might be sitting on one stack. It's actually sitting on uh, two sets of stacks anyways. So there's six stacks of silver down there, and then there's three on top to weigh it down. So I don't know how well that's going to move, but we're going to have to um, start pushing it a little bit to see where it's going. Um, something I did notice, there's actually a couple of new things in here. So we have a... Uh, we got the... There's actually two two new rings. There, this ring was over here yesterday. They kept it close. So I'm not really sure. It could be a really, really, really expensive ring, but um, it's off there to the side, so I doubt I'll pull that one today. Um, now, however, this guy up here, is, they actually opened it up, and it, I know for sure that's got to be worth a couple hundred, probably anywhere from three to $600 by itself. Um, now, in order to get that, I'd have to knock the watch back like to the side and then off, so what's a little more gettable is this guy there's a really nice diamond ring over here it's a uh, it's a little hanging over the edge so it's pretty easy to get and i know for sure that's at least five hundred dollars um it could be upwards of a grand who knows um but i, I if i could pull that out it'd be a pretty good win um there's also two new coins in there um these guys in the silver in the protective sleeves over here they're actually uh um obviously they're silver one ounces but they're graded, so they're uh, in protective cases, and they actually have a, an official grade on them. Um, and it actually looks like it's from the NGC. Um, a lot of big words, so I'm not going to try to say those on the camera. <laughs> but um, so it's it's a big deal. Uh, they're graded, so you you know they're trustworthy. You know uh, the authenticity of it. Um, so they're probably worth a little bit more than the, all the other silver pieces in there. Maybe a whole lot more. Like I said, I'm not a big silver guy. Um, I just come here, get what I can out of the machine, and trade it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, so today, ooh, um, they actually still have the ring in there, the diamond in there, not the ring, the diamond, way in the back, and that looks like a, I think it's a one carat, um, and that's just the diamond by itself. It's not mounted or anything, so you can take that and put it on a ring or whatever. Um, and I'm pretty sure they told me that was worth about eight grand, um, somewhere between like five and eight grand. It really depends. The values always change, um, but that, if that, that's an eight grander there. It's mostly hanging over the edge, um, so a couple uh, stacked quarters would probably pull it off. So I'm going to start doing uh, a couple, uh, couple stacks of quarters on both sides, the left and the right. Hope everybody's having a really good day and uh, enjoying their Saturday, their weekend. We got a couple quarters dropped out there.
So I just hit that uh, the diamond actually. I it didn't really move move a whole lot, but I did hit it and it moved. So uh, it's definitely possible to knock it out of there. It's not gonna be easy for me, um, but it's definitely possible. And kind of like the watch I did yesterday, I can use that as a batting ram to push everything off the edge. Same with the watch. If I can get that watch off there, I can do it again. Um, never managed to get that out yesterday, so you have to just put it in the back there. Worth mentioning, I, did, I lost a couple quarters and uh, maybe, uh, I don't, don't think I heard any silver that time, but I definitely lost a couple quarters into the pit. I want to say thank you guys for listening to what I'm actually saying and talking about. Um, I noticed in the comments some of you guys are actually picking up on my lingo, like the pit and the pod and stuff like that. So thanks guys, it really uh, makes me feel happy if you guys are watching paying attention. I don't normally answer the comments on there, so just be advised. If you ask some questions, reach us on our Facebook group. Um, YouTube, uh, we get a lot of comments and it's hard to kind of filter through them. So. I do appreciate you guys commenting down there. It really uh, gives me some pointers and when I do. And I've had some people have issues where their posts are getting aren't, aren't there anymore, they're getting removed, so just be advised. Alright, so some of the silver stack on the top shelf is starting to fall out off. So that's pretty nice. Get some more pushes over there on the right side. more quarters to keep me in, so that's nice. I, I ran out of quarters yesterday. That doesn't happen to me a whole lot. I usually come pretty well stocked and I don't like to use throw them all because I like to have some to start me off the next day. I did want to point out, I don't think there's as much silver in here as there usually is. Um, you can actually see all the silver up, up in the back there, so um, looks like they actually try to piece it in with some other stuff and kind of make a little different setup. Um, it's kind of nice to see a little a relief of silver. Uh, I've had a lot of that, a lot of silver clogging up lately. And uh, while I'm trying to get the, the hole unclogged, people start to get bored and um, don't like watching a machine with no movement. So. Some more silver fell off the top shelf, so that's clear. Lots of quarters just dropped in.
lots of stuff dropped into the pit, uh, so I won't be seeing those quarters, but uh, plenty of quarters falling off the edge here in my pot, so that's pretty cool. Keep me in the game. Again, I hope everybody's staying warm out there. It's uh, pretty cold and there's a whole lot of snow out in my window. So I'm not sure where everybody's walking from. Maybe there's some people down in the warmer states. So send some of your warmth up here, please. <laughs> All right, a couple more silver pieces fell. They fell right behind the stacks. So slow movement here for a second. Loading up that right side, trying to get that diamond back down. Something else I've noticed about this game, it's really easy to, uh, to waste a bunch of quarters trying to get one thing out, like that diamond there. I can probably put 10 to 20 bucks worth of quarters just trying to get that one thing out, and then next thing you know you're all out of quarters and you didn't get anything major out of there. So you do kind of got to pace yourself and uh, use your quarters wisely. Lots of quarters, I mean lots of quarters here. I've probably gotten back everything I put on so far. So that's actually makes me feel a lot better about that. No silver yet, just a lot of quarters. Usually the silver is stacked up higher and wider, so that's why it's so easy to get silver out usually, but today it's, it was pushed back a little farther and it was all concentrated in one little area. And none of the big stacks have fallen yet, which is, I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm about 15 minutes in and no, uh, no big movement in the middle. So that tells me I'm gonna stock the middle up a little bit. Drop a couple quarters. Looks like the rest of the silver fell off the top shelf here, so maybe I can get some more movement with those bigger pieces behind the stacks. I 
think it's probably the most foundationally sound uh, stack of silver they've, they've had yet. So there's a lot of quarters uh, bundled up here in the, in the top. Yep. So we're going to have a lot of quarters dropping here in the next couple of pushes. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's all the quarters I put in yesterday. So I definitely went through them, that's for sure. And so that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good drop. Lots of quarters. Keep me in the game. I feel like I'm the, the small small game now until these uh, stacks get ooh okay so the the watch just fell yesterday it took me a while to get the watch off the top shelf though so um, I'm not gonna get too excited yet and looks like I, <laughs> the diamond actually got a cut there between the diamond and the silver so we'll see how this plays out. To have a whole line of quarters in order to do any movement on that watch, so. Alright, so here's something new and interesting. So, that watch is actually caught there with the diamond. And because of that, then some quarters are getting stuck behind it too. Alright, so they're slowly falling down and getting getting right, but uh... I gotta, I gotta get that watch unstuck from the diamond there. In order to get any kind of movement. situation like this you just want to reach to the, the glass and uh, unstick it but not really something that's possible so you can dream a couple more quarter spells so that's pretty nice Alright, so I think that was the jackpot pulling, guys. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I got plenty of quarters to keep playing, so I'm not beat up by the quarters at all. Still not a single piece of silver in here, though. And we're, we're, at, we're at the 20 minute mark, so so far I've gone 20 minutes and I haven't been able to pull a single piece of silver out. But I'll show you guys how, much, how many quarters I got, because there's a lot here. I definitely have more quarters now than when I started. That jackpot really does treat you right. I would just wish there was a little more, more of a siren or sound or something so I know. But look, that is definitely more than I started with today. So uh, I'm going to keep going. I am on a time frame, but I got plenty of time left. So I'm going to keep going.
now I don't feel bad about sinking so many quarters into one spot. For example, this diamond and watch issue. Really make a thick pile back here. And hopefully I can make that push it out. All right, so I think I finally got some silver pieces dropping, so that's nice. Some good payoffs. And it did make it move a little bit, but the watch is still stuck there. So I'm gonna have to stack a few more up there. So I am wiggling that diamond out there. Uh, so the watch is actually helping with the diamond, but the diamond is not helping with the watch, that's for sure. So I gotta keep sinking some more quarters in there off the right side, and I can I think I can knock that diamond off. And once the diamond's free, the watch will be free and we'll get some more movement back there. Alright, so the silver stack fell backwards completely, like all six stacks of them, except one. One single stack uh, was left behind. The diamond finally fell, so it's not going to uh, make that watch stuck there anymore. But now we're getting more stuff st uh, stuck, so we're gonna, I'm going to let this play out because everything's moving. I like to see the movement here, it's actually doing pretty good. The diamond, it looks like the diamond is actually just walking its way across that top shelf. <laughs> It's sitting on that watch just perfect so that way it doesn't have uh, a whole lot of ground in the back. And pushing it, when those mint sets hit it, it pushes it a little farther. Then the watch takes it back and pushes it farther. And now I can get how you guys can watch this for hours and stare at this uh, repeatedly. Alright, so I'm going to keep going. Now that it's a little more fluid, I, can, I think I can get some, uh, some good progress. I do want to say a happy, wish a happy new year to Martin Hops. So congratulations. So something I hope stays this way, the stack of 10K guys, it's actually pointed up in the air right now. So that means there's a lot of silver underneath and there's silver on top just to prop it up. So if it can move just that same exact way all the way to the edge, hopefully it'll flop right in. Um, we just gotta make enough movement to kind of um, fill a space. So the diamond's now on the bottom shelf, so that's nice. And it, it will act as a battering ram for the 10K um, and land it right on top right on top of the silver that was holding the 10K down, so that's nice. So a couple more pieces of silver fell, so that's pretty nice. I do want to show you guys, this is my bin that I keep my silver in. There's nothing in it. I didn't start with anything today. I'm going to go ahead and try to keep count for you guys. 
might be a little easier since I'm not pulling as many out today. So there's still a lot of quarters left in there, so pull these up. And so far I've got silver four coins and four silver coins guys, so sorry I messed up there, but four of them. That's a start. But like I said, that's never usually my goal. I'm I'm always after that 10k. The silver is just frosting that keeps me playing. Lots of, lots of quarters just fell into the pit, I heard. Um, but lots also fell into the pot, so that's pretty good. Another piece of silver fell. So that's pretty nice. Finally got, <clears throat> getting some real results, besides the, just quarters. Right, don't get me wrong, it's been fun up until then, up until now, but I definitely like seeing the silver drop. Gonna keep rapid firing a whole bunch of quarters in the back there. We got a lot of weight here in the middle on the bottom shelf, so it's gonna, it might take a minute to get some movement again. With the diamond in there and then the stack of 10 grand, all that's all right in the middle. And it's all kind of getting weighed down. That was a pretty good turnout for silver. Probably more drop there than it has the entire game.
so guys, here's some more silver. Uh, that's what it looks like. Looks like we got 20 pieces, about 23 silver pieces so far. Pieces, guys, we're at 29 silver pieces. It is starting to give me a little less quarters and more silver though, so hopefully my the quarters I have left are going to be enough to keep me going and get that 10k out of there. It is propped up like I said I wanted it to be, um, and it's getting closer and closer to the edge, so I just got to take some strides and get it as close to that edge as possible. All right, so the way the watch is turned sideways there, I I hope I can actually use that to push the 10K off the way it is just like that. If it was sideways, it wouldn't really do me much good, but I think the way it's sitting now it might actually help me.
Alright guys, we're at 45 coins so far. We just went and pulled a couple more out, so 45 is our count right now. And that's all the quarters I have left, so fly through these and hopefully we get some progress. If not, I'll have to walk away. Really, no matter what, I don't think I can be too mad about missing out on that 10K today. I don't know if there's going to be 30 in here tomorrow. <laughs> I definitely have enough silver here to, to fund my gameplay tomorrow. So there's no worry about that. I'll definitely be back and playing for that 30 grand. Right, guys we're at 63 silver ounces now so we're getting up there now and i only have a couple more quarters left to play and a little bit more time left so i'm gonna cut it short here in a little bit i will have two names to uh, announce tomorrow so definitely make sure you tune in tomorrow and so you don't miss any emails. That 10K is so close to the edge, I really don't want to walk away with it like that. guys let me show you how many quarters I got I just so you know I only have 60 I have 67 silver ounces is what I ended up pulling out so far 68 and 69 just dropped so 69 silver ounces so far throw in my last quarters this is all I got for quarters and I'm not taking anything out of the winnings unless I get the 10k so let's go ahead and drop these in there
Uh, that's all the silver, all the quarters I have. Did a pretty good job dropping some stuff down. Pretty good amount of silver and things just dropped. Alright, so I'm at 73 guys, 73 silver ounces. And 41, 42 minutes, so uh, drop these because I only got like three minutes left. These are the quarters that I pulled out of the winnings. I said I wasn't going to, but I'm going to anyways. And these last three don't do it. That's all I got, so. One more quarter for drop, so I'll put that right back in. And effectively did nothing, so. Alright guys, well thank you so much for tuning in. That's, that's all I hold my hold my breath there. Drop these down, whatever. Alright, so I did manage to pull out uh, eight more silver pieces right there in the last uh, three quarters I dropped in, so that's pretty nice. But that's all I got for you today. Um, I can't keep going. I'm going to cut it off here. I will definitely be back tomorrow. There's going to be 30 grand in this machine, and I'm going to, I'm walking away with at least one bundle. Um, came too close last time. I'm definitely going to walk away this time. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to have another one tomorrow. Where we'll announce a couple more names then, so make sure you watch. Um, if you missed anything from yesterday, make sure you go back and watch those, because, uh, that we get announced two names in that one so um, don't want to miss any of that but don't forget to click the subscribe button down below the video if you haven't already like and uh, feel free to comment if you have any uh, thoughts so thank you so much you guys uh, stay warm out there if it's cold stay cold out there if it's warm and uh, be good people thank you so much